Michael Brown here again from michaelsbrown.com. And in this lesson, or in this video, I'm going to teach you how to change some of the settings in your WordPress dashboard for your WordPress blog so that you can get the most out of it. Uh, this video won't be long, but it, there's some things that you should probably do to um, just make your blog look uh, better and a little more accessible to your reader. The first thing we should do is come in and you should get rid of your Hello World post. Go to Post and select this Hello World post here and go up here to this uh, little action menu and click Move to Trash and click Apply. And now that post will be gone. So let's take a look at our front of the, the blog here and there's no more um, Hello World post. Okay, We don't want that on there. Let's go back into our dashboard here. And the next thing we want to do is simply go down to settings right here. And there are several settings on here, uh, general writing, reading, discussion, media, and permalinks. Let's go into general first. Okay, now we have our site title that we set up in the beginning. And again, use uh, keywords that are relevant to your industry. So again, if you the example I used in, uh, when you were first getting your domain and your hosting was that if you were into like sheep farming, you might be you might have something about sheep farming as your title. Uh, if you need to know any more about like SEO or search engine optimization, you can go to uh, below this video. I will link you to some different things you should know about search engine optimization as well for your blog to make it as beautiful and easy to navigate for the search engines as possible and easy to find. Now what you want to do is this tagline here you can change where it says just another WordPress site. We can change that to this is my brand new blog site. Okay, again, you can make that whatever you want for your tagline. Make it go with whatever your site title is and I'll show you where you'll see all that. Okay, but let's just change it for now to something that makes sense for your, your site. And then you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and just click Save Changes. Okay, that's all you need to do in that menu. Now let's take a look at the changes that we just made. If we go back out into our main uh, area here onto the main site. So again, we are just right now, whoops, let me scroll up so I can show you this. Uh, we are actually just at our domain that we that we have, and we're on the front page of it now. Okay, now what we just changed here is the title bar, and I'm going to scroll all the way up again. The title bar that we have set up here uh, now says uh, my own first blog, which was what we put in the, for the title, and it also says this is my brand new blog site. Okay, so it's pulling in that tagline now as well. Okay, so that's we want to make sure we do that. It, it makes your uh, site look more professional too to have that. Okay, so let's scroll. I'm going to scroll back down here, and we will go back in, and we will make some additional changes here. So we will go back into uh, the dashboard. And now we want to go back down the settings. Next, we can go to writing and see if there's anything to change here. Now, you at this point, you don't need to change anything here. I just wanted to go into it so you can see that you know you can look through each of these menus. So you don't have to just change everything uh, right away. But later on, you can come back if there's things that you want to do here. For now, we don't need to worry about anything with the writing. Let's go to reading and see what we can do. Okay, inside of reading, you can show more or less blog posts on your home page of your website. So if you only want to show five posts at the most on the front of your site, you can do that. Okay, so you can change those settings there to show five posts. Um, and then in your RSS feed, which we'll get into this later, what your RSS feed actually is, um, you can set that to show only five posts. Uh, post or five items as well. We'll just leave that alone. We'll leave that at 10 for now. Then you can decide if you want to show a full article on the front of your home page or if you want to sh show summarized articles. Um, for now, I would just leave it at full text. You can change it later if you want to make your site look a little bit different. If you want, if you're getting a lot of posts on your home page, and you want to kind of summarize it for people and have them click on more more things to go look in your blog, you can do that as well. 
For now, let's go full text and always leave this box unchecked because if you check it, it will discourage the search engines from being able to index your site and it'll be harder for people to find you without typing in your na the name of your site all the time. So leave that alone for now and let's save changes. Okay, and then we can go into discussion. Let's see what we can do here. Now, you can do um, several things here. You can uh, go up here and you can make it to where people can't even uh, comment on your blog if you want to get rid of comments. Uh, you can you can set all these things, but what you should leave on, you want to leave on uh, this attempt to notify any blogs that have linked to or linked to you from an article, because it will let you know when people are linking to your content. So you, it'll let you know when people are like sharing your content. Um, then it, this link allow allow link notifications from other blogs. Okay, so just leave that alone. Um, allow people to post comments on new articles. Okay, this is where you can change this if you want. If you don't want people to comment on your blog, uh, you can get rid of that. If you'd like to have people to where they can comment, leave that alone. And I'll show you where that's at in just a moment or what that looks like on the page. Um, allow comment. Uh, or I'm sorry, other comment settings. You can have all. You can just go through these line by line for yourself. They're pretty self-explanatory. I don't change any of those. I leave them alone. Uh, you can have a, your blog email you anytime someone posts a comment, um, and you can make all comments held for moderation. So when a comment is held for moderation, you can make it email you, or you could uh, take that off and not receive emails. Uh, I, some people like to be notified when people are commenting on their blog, um, but as your blog gets more traffic, you might want to turn those notifications off. Um, on here, you can you can select that an, administ an administrator must always approve a comment. Now, if you want to fight spam and cut spam out, check that box. If you don't care about spam right now and you you want to just allow people to comment whenever, even spam comments, leave that um, leave that unchecked. Okay, we're gonna leave. We're going to make mine checked here because uh, I want to approve every comment that's posted. And on this one, uh, comment author must have a previously approved comment. So if you have this box checked, what this allows, this allows your people to, or anyone that posts a comment, they will be auto-approved if you've approved one of their previous comments. And it can take down some of the tediousness later on if you're getting a lot of comments on your blog. Okay, so those settings are all you need to worry about in here. Um, and we're going to scroll all the way down now to save changes. Now before we go on to the other couple things here, um, well, we're only going to really look at one more thing for now, but let's go back to the blog, the front home page of the blog, and I'm going to take you into a post. Now remember I was talking about where people could leave comments at. People can leave comments, there's a comment box that will show up down here. So I'll just type in a comment. And this one, if someone puts in a comment here and then they click post comment, it will actually pop up here and show. Now, mine auto approved here because I'm the administrator. But if you uh, had your comments to where they could only be um, moderated, then you'll get a notification inside of your blog to moderate them. Now, again, if you want comments turned off, just do that in the last setting that I showed you. You can completely turn those off. Okay, let's move on here to the final thing I want to show you in your settings that you should probably uh, do. And let's go back to settings, go down to permalinks, and set up your blog to where you have post name structure. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So let's select post name, and we will save changes. Now let's go take a look at this. If you don't select post name, uh, you'll have a, a series of numbers like the date will show in your um, the URL of your specific pages on your blog just like this is showing here uh, and it will also give the post uh, title the name and, and other things that you don't really need in there uh, and it, it just makes them look better to use post name and let me show you an example of how this looks I'll go to my blog here to michaelsbrown.com and this is a post I wrote not too long ago and if I scroll up, you can see up here that this is michaelsbrown.com. Whoops, 
what I just click. Okay. This is michaelsbrown.com slash 17 ways to find a niche today. Okay. That looks much better than having, you know, 10, you know, six numbers in here and an archive slash and all that. So this just takes down some of the, um, the look of the site. And I'll show you another example here where I use this. On the on this page of michaelsbrown.com, I actually have it. It's forward slash tutorials. So, if I wouldn't have done that, it'd have a lot of it have the date and the month and things in there that we don't really need inside of that link. So it just makes it shorter and makes it look better. Okay, so that's it for that setting. Make sure you save your changes here after you've changed that setting, and you are now done changing your settings. So really easy stuff to do, but stuff that can make a difference on your blog and just kind of it adds you know more professional a more professional look to your blog. Now before we end, I'm I'm right at the end of this video, the last thing that you should do right now is go ahead and go to your widgets and go in here and just pull out all the stuff that's in the sidebar right now because you don't need any of this. You don't need the meta in there. You can leave the categories up if you want for now. You don't need the recent comments. Um, yeah, maybe leave the search bar in there, um, or we can, we can take it out for now. And now your primary sidebar is, just has recent posts and categories in there now. So let's look at what this did for the blog. Okay, now it's showing up over here um, where my the I only have one post on this blog right now while I'm demoing this for you. I'll show more posts in an upcoming video. But now we've removed all the excess stuff uh, that was on here that we didn't need. Like no one needs to see your admin panel access and things like that because that's stuff that you're going to save, you're going to bookmark, and, and you have in your uh, from your email and such uh, that you printed out. So you'll know where to go on that. Uh, this just cleans up the look and feel of your blog and and everything uh, with all these different themes they're all different they all vary slightly but this one already has a search bar up in the top uh, of the blog here so I didn't even need to have that one that was down here on the on the sidebar uh, search bar is good especially as you continue growing your blog but for now uh, you you probably don't need it in the sidebar especially if you have one up here so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Again, my name is Michael Brown from michaelsbrown.com. I will have more tutorials very soon for you. And by the time you see this, they might be up. And any links that I mentioned inside of this video will be found right below this video. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you very soon.